Yes, thank on the phone. So okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so my talk is not about digital classroom. It's about traditional classroom. Okay, yeah. You know, in China, we think in the next 20 or 30 years, classroom is the main place for the students from the primary school to middle school. And sometimes we think classroom like black box. You don't know what happened in the, in the classroom. Okay, yeah. So we are very lucky, yes. Three years ago, we have cooperated with Shanghai Minghang Educational District and China Telecom. The background is, in China, we invest a lot to middle school systems and primary school systems. And we connect more and more schools together. And the parents, the principals, and the lecturers say, no, what really happening in a traditional classroom? And you know, because the computer is very high, and especially for China, we want to educate our kids more and more knowledge in the primary school and the middle school. That means we need portable knowledge, just like AI, Python programming. These courses in the primary school and the middle school, we need time, we need space. So the research for my group this year is yes. Can we let the traditional classroom more efficient? Okay, that means we have time or space for let students learn another things, okay. So there are typically two classrooms in the eastern of China, Shanghai. There are about uh, 30 or no, no, no more than 40 students in one classroom. But you know, in the middle of China, there are more than 60 students in the classrooms. Okay, so things seem very different in China, eastern area and middle area. So, so we have a test bed. In Shanghai, we connect more than 100 class schools. That means more than 500 classrooms connect together. So every day we process the real things in the classrooms. We indicate anything, any digital data in the classroom. Also, we expand our test bed to Chongqing. It's more crowded. In the classroom, videos record the whole teaching process and record the quality of teaching This is the classroom in my test bed. Now we in total connected about more than 200 classrooms together. To design a yeah. real-time classroom teaching quality analysis and evaluation system to promote the teaching and learning. The, when and students try to answer questions, we the in everything, every action be detected in the classroom. And raising is an important when, part of the activity And what time students put on the hands? Therefore, the results can be used to evaluate the activeness. Similar to the behavior of hand raising, standing up to answer the question is also an important part of the atmosphere evaluation in the class. Head posture estimation is used to detect and students' for the attention. Okay, there are many Further things to influence the students' students attention. Okay. Whispering and other phenomena. Generally speaking, when a student doesn't, the behavior of sleeping on the table usually occurs when students Especially in this are not primary actively school, involved some in the class or always when sleeping. the atmosphere okay, yeah. is dull. Therefore, we have built Very important, yes. We are focused on research on emotion or facial expressions. Smooth, we created a database for the emotional computer. database, more than 300,000 databases for emotions for the young kids. Okay, yeah. Analysis of the whole class can be pro the teacher detection is to follow the teacher and also we in the On this what? basis. We can the teacher the is really doing in the classroom. Okay. So how many times we face well. the students, back to students, and what's the pronunciation? What's the speech in speech? Okay. Also, the speech we analyze the speech. The speech. teacher's pronunciation, intonation, and speed, and based on this, to analyze the teacher's emotional status. So, this is almost everything that is happening in the Shanghai. We collect data real times from more than 200 schools, okay, and classrooms. And we want to do the real research for the real data, okay? So first, for the facial expressions, it's very interesting, yeah. 
we have created a database, more than 300,000 young kids, especially Asian kids, emotion database. Yeah. And we found, you know, so the right, okay, there are two students, but on science, when the teacher has questions, okay. At first time, the teacher select the, his neighborhood to answer the questions. So the seconds, about five seconds, the lady, okay, the young girls, seems embracing, okay. But five seconds later, okay, he smiles. This is emotions change very quick, okay, from high to low. Same, we indicated. Why? Because his classmates answer the questions very clear. Okay, it's very right answer. So that means in the young kids in the schools, okay, if we always get some praise, okay, yeah, that's may help them grow. Okay, so we have many data from this emotions in the, in the young kids. Teachers' roles cannot be ignored during and learning you know, activities in classrooms. In the traditional classroom, the emotion we of always hope directly the lectures the or teachers okay, as well can as students' emotions. Teaching responsible. So system, we also have the emotions in we use the occurrence and intensity, intensity of action okay, units, yeah. So AUS, if the lectures intensity of the emotions, okay, he can lead example, the students, okay, and the students will follow him puller, more closely. Which is the typical action of smiling, where a and we can see this is very really interesting class for English, okay? Yeah. And we found the lecture likes dancing, okay, to teach the English, okay? If you like dancing and all the students' corresponding, okay, it's attractive to the lectures, yeah. So the emotions, we can, the student emotions, the lecture emotions are always, okay, the same directions. Detection of distracted students is implemented by analyzing head poses of different students. And because they are more than about 40 students, especially in Hongqing, there are 60 students. students always some students are, from others are judged as distracted, distracted students in the classrooms. At the okay? same time, it's, it's very important you have to teach and find why distracted in, These records in the classroom. Okay? So our system can indicate the students, students very quickly. Okay? Yeah. We calculated the mean value of the attention factor for different time periods. And for the, the attention, the attention okay, factor, we found many the things influence the lectures on and the students' basis, we attention. Okay. So on the, attention the speed factor. of the <coughs> we found that lectures' speech, can okay. students concentration. if we can run into the students, there are many things influence the students', students attention. attention. Okay. For instance, Besides, we gave some laws for the young lectures. The okay. the when he they are often more starts to from lectures 10 attention. minutes or uh, Therefore, 15 minutes. The teacher's he sometimes, will also okay, play an yeah, he in improving speed more attention. higher, okay, just a little bit worse, okay. Then the teachings will change, change to the lectures. We will detect raising hands in real time during class. And we can recognize hand raising in, in Chinese different terms, areas and mark hand you know, raising areas in the classroom. Some parents always class, have some to, uh, to ask the lectures, okay, the teachers. Would you please do me a favor to help my uh, kids to change the seats, the map, okay? The change the seats the is, because the the he, he, he the never was not so hands. maybe climates or some things, okay? Say, yeah. So we also have the one hand raising map, okay? We found, okay. There are always some areas. For the hand rise, okay. Timely but raising hand if you change a little bit, see, okay, yeah, little bit, see, see, okay, the things will change. These are things will change, yeah. From this so, picture, we can clearly see all these things we are doing. Yes, we want this class. to improve the we teaching and equality in a traditional way, okay, because more and more classrooms, the government invest, so we have something connected to computer, computer network, okay, yeah, so we can use AI technology to indicate effects. the emotions, okay, the gestures, okay, in the classrooms. And also, Once we, find a course we have, with high teaching quality, you know, we create a teacher template to show the analysis in Shanghai, of this course. It's, some, uh, it's maybe uh, the modern city, okay, in China. To train young so teachers to learn always how to teach. each class grade have more than six classes. That means at the same time, six teachers the teaching the same classes. Okay, in the Chongqing, in the Chongqing, there are about 20 pedal classes in the same grade. 
okay? Things may be totally different like German, okay? So we are really serious consider this, okay? How can we balance the teaching quality in each classroom? So that's we came to teach templates, okay? If we found one lectures, okay, in the one mathematics, that this lecture is very successful. We are collecting data from uh, maybe from the emotions, the hands, and stand up. Find it's very, then we will create template. Okay, this template will deliver to the young uh, legs very quickly. Okay, for instance, we found this lecture very successful, and we found it start at 1:15 in p.m. and you 1:20. The lecture the questions. Okay, yeah. You can think this, it's reasonable, okay? And, and in 125, okay, yeah. So the, the lectures maybe has asked the student to ask questions to stand up. So many details, we, we, the, the, the young lectures, okay, can follow the famous lectures, okay? Yeah, so this is the teacher templates. We, every day, we create many new templates, okay, because things change uh, very quickly, day by day. Okay, yeah. So now we total we have about more than 500 templates, okay, for mathematics, okay, for English lectures, for different levels, okay, grade one, grade two, grade three, okay. So this is we are doing the traditional way. <coughs> okay. So there are two systems in education system in China. One is public systems. There's a huge systems. One is the private systems. And we think, maybe sometimes we think education uh, should be a service, okay? You should give a service to the young kids, okay? So how we can guarantee the service? How can we guarantee service quality? This, this is up to the future, okay? So in our systems, um, we, you know, at first time there are three schools, um, excuse me, 30 schools joined my test bed. And last year, 120 schools, and this year I think maybe more than 300 schools because the principals, okay, of the uh, public systems, they are willing to join my test bed. Why? Because he want to keep the teaching quality, okay? Yeah, and because in each grade there are more than six, uh, eight, or more than 10 classes, okay? And they, they hope to balance the teaching qualities in the parallel classes. Yeah, so, so in the systems, we are run, till now, we are run, I think it's successful. And for the government, okay, also we think they are willing to support my research because in just in Minghang or in Jading district, this is very, uh, developed very fast in Shanghai. There are more than about 200 schools distributed in the Minghang campus, okay? So every year, you know, uh, government uh, invest about 4% GDP to the education. It's a huge money, okay? They want to get a report. I put so much money every year, okay? So how can we, uh, can we know each class quality, okay? So now we can, okay, you know, send the officers every day to each courses. Okay, for instance, in one primary school, one grade about six classes one day. Okay, so after class is over, we can get a report for each classes. Okay, so they can compare different schools. Okay, we found very interesting things in the same classes. Okay, when very different features in the different schools, this will help to the government to invest and maybe some exchange, exchange some the, uh, teachers. Okay from different schools to the different positions, okay. So thank you. Okay. Um, so before um, we go to the obviously I think quite pressing issue what most people might be most concerned about which is uh, privacy, um, I would like to talk a little bit about um, uh, your research area because um, you have been doing this for over uh, 25 years yes. and you actually started with education research in yeah. Tibet mm. um, and why do you think now this is the future of uh, actually online education and e-learning? Okay, I, I, I cannot say it is the future but I say it's we need to research the traditional way, 
Okay, you know, now people talking about type of online education, digital education, okay? Yeah, but you know, uh, most of uh, students, okay, they spend most of the times in the classroom, in the classroom, from the primary school to middle school. And normally, we really don't know what's happening in the classrooms, okay? What's happening in classrooms? So, this research topic, uh, we are, we're thinking for more than five years, okay? But it's very difficult for us to find the test bed, okay? Because we need the real data. So we are very lucky, yes, okay? Uh, five years ago, uh, Chinese government, they invest to connect the school together. So in Shanghai, almost every school is connected to high-speed uh, network, yeah. okay? And uh, some schools, they can use iPad or some, uh, we can say they can use anything to learn. Okay, you know, China parents pay a lot of time and a lot of money for their kids. Okay, yeah. So, and we also very lucky is uh, we cooperate with China Telecom. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They also want to change some things. Okay, so we cooperate together. Yeah. And how do you think, I mean, because that obviously uh, one thing is that you have this whole uh, surveillance in the classroom or uh, supervision and then you use data to analyze it. But when you, when you think about obviously and that's something in Europe people are concerned um, more than people are concerned about in China, at least yeah. I, because I also live there, I know. Um, what do you think about the issue of privacy, obviously? Who is concerned? Do you think the parents are concerned or the students are concerned okay, yeah. um, or the government is concerned or what, what is the feedback you usually get? Okay, yeah, I, I agree with one example, yeah. You know, we have a base in Minghang. It's the, uh, there's a, a school in Qiangwei, okay? Qiangwei is a public school, okay? It's built about five years, okay? Because, you know, uh, Shanghai, there are more and more people coming in Shanghai and the government want to set new schools, okay, for the new coming people, okay? That means new coming people, that's, that means they are not the, the kids, the parents are not so rich. Okay? Yeah, they come from yeah, different yeah, provinces yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, not yeah. from the Shanghai yeah, yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, And so the, uh, the head of the primary school, when I talk about him, he, he is willing to join my test bed. Why? Okay, you know, the public school's kids, okay, he said very serious, okay, the only way for the kids is for education, okay? And he hope every kid, okay, when he go into my campus, okay, yeah, he should be learn more climates like a gentleman, okay? Yeah, so he must like pay more attention to learning, okay? You know, most of schools, the lectures, okay, the teachers in China, they are the ladies, okay, girls, okay? But the young kids, they are so generous, okay? Yeah, so activities. Okay, yeah, you could not let every uh, user, uh, female okay, lectures to control almost everything. Yeah, so, you know, every day, they are, sometimes they, they, they seem like exhaust. Okay, yeah, you know, in the classrooms, also, you know, <laughs> okay, and sometimes they are run very fast in the balcony, okay? So, so there's no concern from, you know, from... from yeah, so from they need some new technologies yeah. to help them what happened? What happened? Okay. So, so now, uh, last year, we have, uh, you know, uh, we have to help them indicate what happened in the classrooms. And the young guys, young lecturers, they are also weren't willing to join this. Why? You know, in China, now, uh, I think teaching, teaching positions is a good job. Okay. And more and more young guys, they are joined to teaching positions. And also, they are want to meet a challenge. Okay? Yes, that's very different. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, so, they also want us to help indicate what's the shortcoming in his teaching. And then, you know, very interesting years, the principal told me, okay? So, uh, professor, you know, when the class is over, there are 10 minutes to rest. Okay? You know, young lectures always encourage students to the balcony to activities. But some experienced old lectures, they are let students in the classroom. Yeah. They don't allow the students to the balcony to activities. So is there any things you can help me? Okay. I think it's very, uh, it's very easy. Okay. I can indicate which classrooms students come out. And then also he asked me, you know, uh, the safety for the, the responsibility for the safety for the head 
is the first things, okay? You know young kids always run very fast in balcony, okay? Yeah. And sometimes they fight each them, okay? Yeah. So he also asked me, so uh, Professor, I need new technologies to indicate this as soon as possible, okay? This means help them to time to process this kind of things, okay? So I, I, I mentioned this just as a reality. Okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. As you, uh, when we uh, talked, yeah. also you said obviously a lot of the technology, yeah. people are now asking you to use it outside of just the classroom, yeah, right? Yeah. In the schoolyard. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this can also be applied to the home in, in the end as well, right? If you want to surveil, um, surveil children. And um, well, the other thing is also that obviously because we talk a lot about AI, and in, in you know in Europe, when we heard it yesterday, also with Kai Fu Lee. Um, we're quite concerned about data and how yeah. to use data. And in China, you see your technology is actually already being applied. So you're already collecting data. You're already using algorithms to analyze them. Right? You're already learning. Um, how do you see the, the difference between you know, Europe and China when it comes to this, or, or even US and Europe and China? Because you're using all this data, while we in Europe are still debating, you know, should we use this? How should we use this? Um, OK, yes. OK, yeah, you know. Uh, so first, I should say, okay, you know, things in China is totally different. You know, in China, each primary school, there are more than 1,000 students, okay? You, you think it's very huge, okay? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So you, you, if you want, okay, 40 or 60 ladies to control 1,000 kids, okay, it's really a tough job. Mm -hmm. So they, are, uh, they want to use new technologies. This is some background. And the second is, okay, so... You know, very, very important is now the primary school invite me to join their technical teams. Okay, they are willing to do this. Okay, yeah. And also in the, in the classrooms, okay, you know, we have one camera to focus on the lectures and one camera for the students. And we allow the lectures, he can shut down, okay? The power of the camera, no problem. Okay. Oh, so it's controlled by teachers. Oh, about lectures. Okay. Yeah. But now more and more lectures they are willing to do this. Okay. Yeah. You know, the, the teaching part is a computer. Okay. And and I also find one thing is very interesting. Yes. You know, in China, online teaching is also a hot job. Online teaching. Okay. Online teaching is a hot job. So the young guys is willing to train training himself in the camera. Okay. So this can help him to how to improve, improve himself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then maybe after classes on Sunday or Monday, he can use online teaching. Okay, he can do some online teaching. This is also very interesting. Yeah, the interesting okay. thing is, as you can also hear from, I, mean, I live in China. I have my own AI company. And what you see is people they have a completely different mindset when it comes to data, right? They're willing to use it. They're willing to use it to improve themselves, to improve their systems. Yeah. And they're obviously less concerned about, yeah. Yeah. you know, some of the big concerns yeah. that we yeah. have here. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's uh, all the time we have. Um, thank you for listening. And um, I'm sure there are lots of questions you can ask. Okay, thank you. Yeah.